in as much as web development is a high paying skill the job market is not funny but the real question is like how long does it actually do take to learn front-end web development hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing the things that i wish i knew before i started web development or front-end web development or web designing in general before i just went into that journey these are like things i wish somebody actually did tell me so without further ado let's go right into this video my name is cynthia and welcome to my channel so the first thing i'm going to start with is how long does it take to learn front-end web development so that's one thing that people misunderstand a lot. I've gotten that question a lot and I feel like I should just clear it. Honestly, when I wanted to register for my class, they told me to take me three months. But the real question is like, how long does it actually do take to learn front-end web development? Because it's a very long journey, I won't lie to you. Initially, we'll start on smooth, it's HTML, CSS, just the basic. When you enter JavaScript, Bootstrap, and all of those stuff, it becomes tougher like as you go. And I feel like three months is, a, is not feasible enough. Well, let's just say I reached out for my class in January and this is September and I'm still not done with my front-end web development. So yeah, this is for everybody that's asking me how long does it take for you to learn. It's a continuous learning process. It never really stops. But mind, there are many factors that affected my own. Obviously, there was school and other things that was going on. But aside that, I just feel like three months is not enough time for you to learn web development regardless of whether you have school or not mine was affected because of school exam at some point i would pause i would come back it's it's not like i'm proud of it but like it's been over two months since i did anything related to web development i intend to go back obviously but it's just a phase right so i just feel like if you're coming into web development you shouldn't have a mindset that so and so time you will be perfect to be a pro honestly you won't like it's not that it's not that straightforward of a journey it's not that easy journey that you just start today and say i am sure that you get every knowledge that you need no to like as this goes by there are new codes that are being brought out things that maybe that worked uh, last year is no more working this year or they're bringing better ways at which they do things and you have to keep like evolving and with ai and all of those stuff it's just a continuous like revolutionary process so you don't stop learning you just keep on as years goes by new things are coming up the second thing is how long does it take like after you learn your web development or front-end web development before you can start getting gigs or do you just start getting gigs immediately in as much as web development is a high paying skill the job market is not funny it's it's as saturated as every other market to get and it's not that once you just finish as somebody that you just finishing your still just fresh out of this you expect to just get a job immediately everybody's a junior developer nobody you see jobs now they don't even put junior developers again they want senior developers because everybody that comes out fresh is a junior developer and as a junior developer they won't put all the responsibilities on you so that's why any company that's a junior developer there's a senior developer which gives you an edge like you have somebody to look up to you can always ask questions but when you're the only developer there they won't employ you won't get that job they need people that have experience that can serve as both junior and senior developer and when that becomes the case where you just finish it's not like you don't know what you're doing but you're not very perfect at what you're doing yet it becomes a problem that is when you now become you have to practice or do projects on your own and use yourself as the experience that you would gain in those companies because they won't explore you without that experience but you say them oh i created so and so project they will feel like you have projects like that you've done before let me just see myself as an example right now when i said i was thinking that oh maybe when i finish i, I can do like build a website myself so i can always find clients but i don't know that i just feel like it's not like that not even everybody now wants to pay for you to build like a very like strong and potent website for them not everybody have that kind of money to spend and you also have to adapt to the trend you have to work with all these companies that offer them like slash rates and all of those stuff and it's hard the third point is that i find that after all my months of coding i would still get to that point to where normal javascript or html and css exactly itself is even still giving me like issues like you still encounter bugs like with code things that would work now will not work tomorrow and at the end of the day you just say like what happened like what happened sometimes you're working on a project right it's responsive the website is responsive and you come back tomorrow and that website is no longer like responsive and you didn't do anything on the laptop i just wonder what happened like i just want to just make anybody that's coming to web development to understand that 
we would always encounter bugs like it is a constant gain no matter how poor you think you are it's not like you're not going to be able to solve it but it's something that happens so my light went off but we're going to have to continue this video so i was talking about bugs and i was just trying to say that it's part of a learning process and it doesn't have to make you feel like you're not learning or you're not capable or you don't know what you're doing just take it that it's a learning process if you don't encounter a bug that means you're not even actually learning what you're supposed to learn because it's a process right if you encounter problems you find solutions and then you keep on going but when you everything just going smooth 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 you end up not learning everything if everybody's going to spin food deal every information and then you don't encounter any challenge on the way that's not a learning process and it's okay even if you can't solve it yourself it's okay to ask for help when you get stuck so you don't have to figure out everything yourself because you end up spending days on something that somebody can just look and be like oh this is this thing it might just be one minor thing that you just didn't take notice of so that is why it's okay to ask for help whenever you feel like you're stuck into something don't let yourself be in that phase for a very long time just ask for help as soon as you can and then lastly, what I'm just going to say is just make YouTube your friend. No matter where it is you're learning. I've already spoken about having to do a physical class. It helped me better in as much as I do online classes. I just feel like they're just this vibe to a physical class. They're always welcome whenever I come back. No matter how much I run, they're always there to your phone. But aside that, make YouTube your friend. There's literally nothing that you're looking for that you would not find on YouTube. And which is why I feel like we all should take advantage of that. I'm exploiting it, but it's not even as much as I, sh I would have if I have the chances to. I just need to make more chance. And that's why I feel like everybody should just... That thing you're looking for, just type it on YouTube. There's always thousands of tutorials already that people have already done for people like all of us that are still learning. And that is why they're there for us. So make it of YouTube all the time. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share my video. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.